And the last item is this amazing jacket. Liam wanted me to try this classic coat. It looks very awesome, but it's meant to be a yeah, Hi guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Um, welcome back to an uh, my channel. I do apologize that I haven't published a video uh, last Sunday, but uh, this week is all, always super hectic for us because it's Liam's birthday, uh, which I normally organize myself. I prep everything myself. Uh, it's also our anniversary, it's the bank holiday weekend, uh, so yeah, there was just so much going on that week and that weekend. And if you guys new around here, uh, just quickly to introduce myself, uh, my name is Eva, I'm originally Czech, I'm living in London. And I would love if you hit the subscribe button if you like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, that sort of content. Um, I'm currently pregnant as well, if that is something <laughs> you can relate to at the moment. Uh, so yeah, uh, welcome to my vlog um, and today is actually 1st September and I'm gonna do one of those things where I'm gonna just kind of go back in time because I was uh, filming a little bit, just very few snippets. Uh, so last week, uh, what happened last week? So I was, um, I was actually invited to an event with River Island that was very different to anything I've actually ever done before because River Island actually launched their maternity range, which is fabulous. Uh, I am gonna link down below um, uh, the items, well, the um, the landing page where you can actually uh, browse around. Uh, but I think it's fantastic. It was a really fabulous event. I think I filmed a couple of clips. I think um, it was one of those few occasions where I didn't know anybody at the event <laughs> because it was mainly pregnant um, mums, either first time or second time. So I didn't know any of the influencers. Um, I think even due to Covid, because obviously we haven't had proper events for almost two years or a year and a half, it was very hard to meet new people and there's just so many people, including editors and influencers in the market that are popping out. Um, and I know most of the oldies, uh, and a lot of the oldies, <laughs> because I've been doing this for a long time. So it was really lovely and it was all to celebrate the new maternity range, but also talk about motherhood, the challenges, uh, giving birth and stuff like that. Um, so I, I met actually some really, really lovely people. Um, and it was just really lovely evening even to get out. and. We also went for our anniversary dinner. Uh, my friend Margie, so she kindly babysat Liam. I really wanted to bring Tyg to Nomad, um, which you probably have seen in another vlog. Uh, I just think the food is absolutely outstanding. The service is outstanding. I think the deco is outstanding. And it's actually a really good location because it's at Covent Garden, uh, just across the Royal Opera House it's easy to find and everything is just top class and um, you do have to obviously spend a little bit more than you would probably in your average uh, pizza express or something like that but it's definitely worth it um, so we had the loveliest time and then um, I didn't film anything on Liam's birthday maybe if I feel like it I'm just going to insert a couple of images but uh, again, my a lovely friend Margita who was so helpful because normally my mum uh, comes with my dad uh, but because of Covid and all the restrictions we just decided not to go for it and she also wants to basically keep her holidays to be able to come here when the baby comes around uh, Christmas. So yeah, that's one of the main two reasons why we decided that, you know, probably it's not the best idea if they come this year. Uh, so yeah, we had a lovely party in the garden, we always do barbecue, so I prepared a lot of nice food. Uh, well, everybody was asking me for recipes afterwards, so I hope it was nice. And yeah, he loved it. I think first time, because he just turned five, first time you could really see he was excited. And you know, he first time also it was like his friends rather than kids of our friends, if that makes sense. Um, so I, I, did, I wanted to keep it quite small. Uh, so he had what, four, four, four kids and obviously we had fun with adults just chatting and eating, not much drinking, obviously not for me definitely. So yeah, it was a really nice weekend and then um, we just had a really, really chilled like bank holiday because I'm not going to lie, but these things take a lot out of you. Like I, 
I like to prepare like decorations. Me and Margita, we were doing the whole kind of balloon arch thing and just to make it sure, you know, just make sure, you know, the kids will have a blast and we'll have a nice decoration and we can take some nice pictures as well. And then you've got the uh, cake picking and, and cooking and entertaining and pouring drinks and barbecuing. So it is always really busy. And obviously I had no help from my parents. Uh, so it was pretty much just me, Margita, and then Tyke took over the barbecue. So it was very tiring. And then the whole Monday... Um, oh yeah, and then on Sunday we went for a lunch, Tyke, uh, Liam and I. Uh, but I didn't film or uh, maybe just I took a few pictures. Uh, so we went to Shoreditch House. Um, uh, I had Sunday rose, and I was so confused. I always get confused at the bank holiday. And sorry for rambling, but it's just so funny. I was like, "Oh, you have uh, <laughs> you have Sunday rose on Saturday," and he's like, "It's Sunday." You know, like the days just get really confused. Uh, so yeah, and uh, we just then chilled at home. And on Monday, apart from. I think bringing Liam to the playground, we literally had the most chill day watching Jeremy, Clark <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson's farm and it's brilliant. We watched it all in one day with Ty and it was just so good. I would never think, especially with him, because he's not, yeah, he's obviously, he's got huge influence, but he is, yeah, if you know, you know, like, um, he's not the most popular person when it comes to his personality. Like, often when I said to people, oh, we watched this, a lot of people already watched it and they were messaging me, oh my god, yes, it's amazing, I'm glad you watched it, even on social media. But honestly, I would never think I would fall in love with something like that and I can't wait for season two. It was so fun, so easy to watch, you learn a lot, it's... Uh, there's a humour in it as well, because they're a really good uh, duo with the Caleb guy. Obviously, that helps him with the farm. So yeah, that was uh, that was basically our bank holiday weekend, and then yesterday, a lot of errands and things like that. But um, as a part of this vlog, I've also received a lot of deliveries, which I want to show you later. But I want to head out with Liam. Um, I want to get some coffee in Starbucks. Uh, I need to take. Well, I would love to take an image for my Instagram. And just really enjoy time out with Liam as well before he starts school next week. Um, but I've got also a um, delivery from H&M, which I haven't opened yet. <laughs> so I want to do a bit of H&M try on haul. Um, I've tried to pick basically things that are hopefully going to fit me in pregnancy at least for some at some point, some second trimester now. Uh, so I still do fit in a lot of things. Obviously it looks different because of the bump, but... Uh, yeah, let's see. So I'm gonna open it later after we come back, try everything on, show you everything. Everything is gonna be linked down below. So let me get dressed, let me get ready and we can head out and uh, you can come with us and then the haul is coming later on in the vlog. Right, quickly show you my outfit. So I got sent a couple of maternity pieces which are absolutely amazing from a brand called, I think, The Body Pump. They contacted me on Instagram. So this is one of their dresses. They call it the body slip. Honestly, it fits like a glove. And what's amazing is you've got these grippers at the bottom. And the same for the leggings. They also sent me a cami, which I haven't tried. And I even haven't requested. So thank you so much, guys. Wearing this old River Island blazer. Just trying not to jump right to the jacket if I don't have to. It looks very autumn but it's meant to be, I don't know, 18 degrees. I'm wearing boots because I love... This time of the year where you can wear bare legs and the boots and my Chanel boy bag, the sparkly earrings. I'm trying to take a picture because I honestly love these pieces. So this is the look, there's the bump and I'm gonna get Liam dressed and we're gonna head out. Okay, do you want some cake? cake. No? No. no? Okay, the chocolate one, okay. Oh, this is so cute, but I think I've ordered like similar vibes from River Island. Very cute though. Liam wanted me to try this fluffy coat. I think it's gold label, so a little bit more expensive. It's pretty cool. Not that I need it, but very, very statement piece. Okay, I think it's time for September to get a proper autumn candle. So I'm gonna try these. I think some of them are very strong for my taste, but I'll try, I'll try. 
Hi guys, we are back. I need to put my camera on charge before I actually start to film the H&M thing. But I think it's around 11, so I was planning just to tidy up a little bit downstairs. It's a mess. It's always a mess. Uh, like toys everywhere. And uh, then I'll prepare something for lunch. So we stopped in Starbucks. I had a butty. Liam had a muffin. I had some coffee as well. Oat, uh, yeah, I had oat milk latte, decaf. And then I popped into TK Maxx and I bought two candles. I think I showed you in the vlog that I was very tempted since it's first of September to actually buy more like autumn theme. I can't, I can't wait. And what I do is like, especially now when Liam's going to be back at nursery and I know I will want to rest a lot, especially the third trimester. I just put on like the background. Um, in the winter I do like the fire and the Christmas music, but in the autumn things like, I don't know, like a New York cafe rain and I just love it. It's so lovely and I also do a lot of meditation. I can't match when I have Liam 24-7, but I can't wait to be back. So that was my routine. I drop him off at nursery and I would do things like quantum meditations that are a little bit longer, you know, good 30 minutes or just like a 10 minute chakra meditation. So I really do miss that. So I picked two. I don't like the really strong one, pumpkin ones. I've tried this. And I've been very happy with this brown, Cloud9. So I've got the bergamot, rosa and musk. And I've got another one downstairs. It smells beautifully. And I picked white pumpkin and vanilla. So it's much, much more subtle, yet it kind of gives me the autumn vibe. And then I picked this beautiful looking one, uh, DW Home. Uh, and this is vanilla tabac, so tobacco. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So this was all in the kind of autumn vibe section and I just got new socks and popped into Sainsbury's, got some oat milk for my coffees in the morning, um, some soya yogurts, which Tyke eats with his granola. Uh, I eat them as well, actually, uh, to be honest. And yeah, I'm gonna chill now, pop the battery on, and then show you what I got from H&M. Hi guys, uh, so today is actually following day. I do apologize, I stopped vlogging, but I do need to listen, considering I'm six months pregnant to my body a little bit more. And for some reason I had this urge yesterday to finally do something I wanted to do for weeks and that starts to organize basically a bedroom, a kid's bedroom, and reshuffle things uh, because I wanted to empty uh, We've got this like chest of drawers, um, which is like a changing table at the top. That was in uh, Liam's nursery, it's from Silver Cross. And I want to use that just for the baby. So just to prepare it, clean it. So I had to move everything that was there, kind of reorganize, put Liam's stuff, toys, books that were in there where I was storing um, into the building wardrobes. And I kind of ended up cleaning a lot, including like hoovering, a, a proper like almost like deep clean uh, in that room and some other rooms as well. And I've noticed basically my pregnancy is very different this time in the sense that I start to get like Braxton Hicks and I know it's, it's normal but you don't want to push it too much. Uh, so then I decided at four to lie down and I'm, I was like I'm not doing anything. I'm not risking anything. <laughs> the whole can wait, filming can wait, anything can wait. So then I've just sorted a couple of emails and just watched a little bit some YouTube as well. Pretty much just chilled with Liam. We watched some uh, cartoons, played the usual until it was time for dinner. So it's the morning and I decided to show you now uh, the four things I've got on H&M. I'm going to try to link everything down below if it's still available. And what do we start with? Okay, I totally forgot what I've ordered. Well, I forgot two things. And um, I don't think any of this, maybe apart from one, is maternity. I need to... Maybe none of this is maternity, but hopefully... <coughs> and the first things are actually shoes. So I got these shoes. I don't really wear H&M shoes. I think I have got a pair of boots, which I got gifted in the showroom. But I thought these looked so nice for autumn. I mean, a bit of like Celine vibe, that pointy... And they're super affordable, lovely color, small heel. Um, 
So now I'm not really investing in um, super high heels. Uh, obviously I can, because I can wear it then, you know, if I go out. But I think it's going to be a while until I properly start to go out after the baby. And these were, I, I'm thinking, vaguely what I remember, maybe 20, 25 pounds. But I think it's a really beautiful piece. I will try to style it, guys. And maybe just a film and put it on the side. So hopefully you guys will see that in the cutouts, what they look like. But I think they are gorgeous. Just very simple. They will go with everything. I can see myself now getting into that beige mode a lot. Like pinning on, in, uh, on Pinterest. Um, a lot of like pregnancy outfits and, and also normal outfits as well because you can always adjust it. So, um, for example, the bodycon dress I showed you yesterday, the maternity. I think even if you throw over like a cozy cardigan and these, it works around the bump as well. And I'm a huge support in pregnancy to wear statement jewellery. It almost like draws the attention, like in general, like from, um, you know, from any lumps you develop during pregnancy and any extra weight. Uh, so I think... Well, I, I believe that it looks great, you know, like a statement necklace. You know, I love statement in general, but I think that's the way to go. So this is the first item. Right, the second thing is actually in size medium because I thought it looks um, it looks big enough for me to fit in the bum. And it's something I can wear after giving birth. Oh, is there a mess? Oh, no. What happened to the mess? Sorry guys, you, you may have to deal with some interruptions from Liam. A nice simple jumper dress, which I can obviously, depending on how I feel, I can just throw over the leggings and put on some trainers or cowboy boots, um, or just to wear it on its own. But I'm telling you, oh my God, yesterday when I wore that dress, I saw a reflection in the mirror and I'm like, where did that cellulite come, came from? Um, and I remember with Liam, it just got terrible. And obviously when you read about it, it's the extra weight, you know, you obviously... I don't do the high intensity exercises I did before. Uh, you can't... well, I just don't do most of the things. Um, I'm also very specific of what I use, massaging, you know, you just don't have the same... how to say that, time. You don't put the same time and effort in it. Because the pregnancy takes a lot, of, a lot of out of you, you know, you want to rest a lot, you just want to kind of lie down. The food can be really funny, especially the first three months because you feel nauseous, but it's in terrible state. So I'm already thinking, what workouts am I going to do? Uh, but my, my best friend actually met, um, I was chatting to my best friend, because um, I remembered the previous pregnancy as well, and her previous pregnancy. She said it always gets really bad during pregnancy, but then it can go away. And she gave me a good tip just to drink, uh, just to boil water. Mama, I'm so sad. Why are you sad? Don't be sad, honey. What happened? Well, I, uh, she basically told me that what really helped her a lot is to boil water and then let it stand and basically drink like a warm, uh, previously boiled water that she's been doing it for six months and really has seen a difference. I've Googled it and actually it is one of the recommendations. So I'll give it a go. Even now, it can't harm me now. So yeah, this is the dress. I I can definitely see myself even wear it with the shoes. And the next thing is actually a jacket. Um, I'm obsessed now with like uh, stocking up on for like autumn. Now I um, I actually enjoyed the jacket trend. Obviously, it was massive last year, but I just felt due to the lockdowns, I, I didn't feel like really really shopping as much. Now when things are a little bit more open. Well, they are pretty much open. Um, I feel like a little bit more motivated to actually go out and like buy new stuff. So this, I think, is also in size. No, I bought I bought large just to make sure I'm actually gonna fit in. Um, fit in the bump even at later stages because I think you can layer this in the winter under the coat as well, or put like. Um, a delay over or something like that and I think they're fun I think they're gonna be really it's gonna be that easy look when you put on uh, a polo neck your leggings especially for me being pregnant some boots or trainers um, roll up the socks with the trainers maybe a baseball cap and a nice bag 
and just the shekid. So this is the next buy. They've got loads of them. I wasn't sure whether to go for, I like quite like the printed one, but then I'm like, this is gonna be so nice. Also with my new Chanel boy bag, which I've unboxed. Well, I've, I've showed you a couple of blocks away. So yeah, I decided to go for more neutral. I can see that these tones are quite similar. So again, something to wear, like if you want a more tonal outfit together. So very, very happy with this one. Hopefully it will look really nice. And the last item is this amazing jacket. Now this, this style of jacket is now hugely popular and I would say it's the Frankie Shop khaki oversized jacket. Uh, that basically made the boom because I think every high street store has got a version of it in different colors, different shapes. I saw it on Max and Spencer, H&M, Mango, uh, Artlet, you know, so many other brands are actually doing this. But I think it looks so cool. I got the size medium because I knew it's oversized and I want to be able to wear it after the baby. But I think the whole point of this is to make it really oversized and I think it will look so cool with a lot of things. I actually like the color. I like that, you know, everything else is very tonal, very autumnal uh, hues, these sort of kind of neutral colors. And this will just bring a little bit of color, a little bit of happiness into my wardrobe. Um, I was tempted, if you remember the Rebook trainers, uh, I got basically like a, a, they're like a purpley one, but very subtle. Um, so they also have them in blue, that, that would be amazing. But then I was thinking I've got you can really wear it with any trainers, but then I've got my Isabel Maran trainers that are kind of white and blue. So I was like, do I need it? Probably not. Uh, I think I'm going to be resting a lot anyway, especially in the later pregnancy. So it's not like I need another pair of trainers. <laughs> I will think about it, but I think this jacket is fantastic. So I'll try to link it down below as well. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure one of the items, I can't remember this, which one exactly, it may be this jacket was uh, online exclusive, so you wouldn't be able to get it in the store. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully you like uh, these things guys. I think um, I want to create like some content this morning and then I want to also continue decluttering, put some stuff on Vinted and maybe Depop, things on sale. So that's how I'm going to be spending today. But guys, I think this is the end of the vlog. I will probably start to film another one because I've got so many other things uh, to show you, but I think I'll keep it for another vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I would love if you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you next week in a new vlog. Bye-bye.